The key is that they just get their lips. Oh! Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, you got it, dude! You got it! You got Oh! Come on! Okay, so it is that time again. We have an experience tomorrow, which means the night before. We get out Darth here, little Darthers dude. Um, we get him out, we walk him around, we chill him out, remind him like this is cool, it's a good safe place, but sometimes it's a little chaotic getting him out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it old school the way we used to do it. So I'm gonna try to get him up here and then if that doesn't work, which it may, are you gonna come and just climb your way out? Like a big old gecko? And if not, I'll use the tabletop. So I have not personally done the tabletop or just in general got him out by myself on purpose. <laughs> um, so we will see how it goes. Looks like he's like literally getting in position. All right, dude, you ready? Come here. Uh, I don't want, no offense, Gomer. I love you. I don't want you. I don't want you, dude. I'm so sorry. I love you. You need to back up. That's not nice. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it, dude. Show me. No, that's not what you were supposed to do. Come here. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it, dude. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. Oh, he's got to get that back foot on. You got it, dude. Come here. Come on. Come here. I know you want it. I know you got it. You got it. You got it. Come here. Come here. You got it. You got it, dude. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. You can. No. <laughs> I also can't give him the chicken because then he'll get like, ah, I'm content. I got my food. I don't want to. Which also, I feel like at this point, I'll take whoever will come out. Oh, listen, you're casually gonna come out. You're just gonna casually come out. Come on, dude. Oh, you got it, dude. You got it. Come on. Come on. You got. Oh, come on, my man. Oh, okay. Right by the chicken. Good job, dude. See you later. See you later. Okay, we got our man different man that I wanted, but that's okay, I'll take it. So what we do is we'll just literally let him walk around, walk it out, walk it out. Gators are such big animals um, that when they're exerting energy, they say, oh, you're running, man, I gotta keep up with you. I'm losing my breath just keeping up with you. They exert so much energy and they're literally like, ah, uh, you talking to us? If you see, like, if you've seen videos of alligators or crocodiles when they're feeding like in lake areas or wherever they are. Usually you'll see them in the water coming out super, super fast. That's because they're dominant through the water. They won't hang out on land unless they're going to just bask a ton and then they'll kind of retreat back into the water. How are you feeling? Feeling good? Um, yeah, are you telling me how good you're feeling? Are you talking to me? Show me your big handsome face. So this is Gomer. Um, Darth is the one, he's got a little bit of like a Bart Simpson nose versus versus uh, Gomer here. So both of them are actually rescues. We've had them since they were super small. Um, super small, meaning like two feet or something. They start out little tiny guys, uh, but I've gotten the chance to raise them. So it's always really cool getting to take them out and to kind of like mentally be like, oh wait, remember the time when you were so tiny? And I actually sat right here and I would just literally just sit here and he would just like whip me, but I would just hold him for like two hours at a time. It was just one of those things where like, you know what? This is worth the time, worth the energy. It's so cool that I did have the opportunity to do that. Um, and now getting to like the repercussion of that. Gomer and Darth are sweethearts. And they love their enclosure. It is their safe place. It is the area that they call home. It's as though like, yeah, it's just where they've always known. They've been in there for the past, probably seven years or so. I'm trying to think of how long we've had that part of the zoo open. Here, let's. Uh, here, can we show them when you do that? Come here, dude. So see how, with his mouth, he was a rescue. So two things to notice. So one, he kind of backed himself into a corner. You can kind of see. So that is for him. Same as like, if someone was coming to beat you up, you don't want to be in the corner, but in this way, he feels more safe. They eat from the side of their mouths. So here, he can't, he's not really good at going forward at all. <laughs> they don't have a lot of energy in the forward motion. He's like, let me prove you wrong. But the side, he's got some good energy. So, um, gators. Okay, come on. You have to keep on going through my tongue. Gators have a really intense side motion. See, every time they move, they'll go from the sides versus hiding your face versus from the front so they have a lot of motion from side to side so if I sit in front of him 
I feel fine because one, I know what his next three steps are, but I also know that he doesn't have a lot of forward lunge movement. But if I were to stand to the side, he would literally break my shit. So Gomer is a little bit smaller than Darth. It's always so interesting to have them out because I know they're big, huge creatures. Darth has like a bigger belly where Gomer has a lot smaller belly and it's uh, smaller relative, it's very relative. Um, but his belly is a lot more narrow. So it's always so funny to like see them where I'm like last time we got Darth out, this time we got Gomer out and see there's like Darth is chunkers, man. Like there's literally like an extra six to eight inches on the side of, of Darth. Um, so it's so fun that each of them have their own personality. So Darth, here buddy. Oh, that's not what I want you to do. Come here, dude. Actually, you look good over here. You look good. Um, so Darth is the dominant one. He uh, are you just talking to us? So Darth is the dominant one. It's so funny seeing them in their enclosure because, and doing like their kind of dominance dance where they're bellowing together, going back and forth. Because this guy, he's usually the one that starts the bellowing because he's just like a little bit more moody and feels like he has to prove something. Where Darth's like, I'm the dominant one. I need to prove nothing. He's a very humble dominant guy, but also when he, when Gomer makes him like need to be dominant or show his dominance, he's not so humble. <laughs> he comes in tenfold with the bellowing um but they're both they're said both such like incredible creatures it's cool to be able to watch them interact they've lived together their whole life or not their whole lives they've lived together in this enclosure for the past seven years eight years together so they are um yeah i mean they're little, little best friends they're fun so the areas that i can kind of see him still like i've got some energy in me is one is eyes they can you can always kind of read them with their eyes and what they're feeling but then also in like their back legs. So see how his legs are still kind of arched forward so where he's able to make a forward motion really quickly and very swiftly if need be. Kind of in like the huffs and puffs and puffs in here. And that is how I just let you know that 100% he was not chilled out. See how much motion he had in that? His whole body changed. Where if I was in the front where the camera guy is, there'd be no energy to exert forward. But there you go, a little bit about Gomer. He's awesome. Um, really enjoy getting him out so it's always fun to be able to do these experiences so gomer is out for a presentation that we're doing so it's just darthers in here he gets all his luck of the chicken show him what you're buddy let me see okay actually here uh, uh are you gonna literally jump out like that no 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 i'm gonna do it <laughs> watch yourself dude okay but can you show me your mouth show me your mouth show me your teeth i want to see your teeth buddy Okay, you're being ridiculous. You need to go back a little bit. It's because you're using the turtle as a footstool. You're using the turtle. There you go. Start fresh. I've got all this other chicken. So my motto is when I feed, I don't like to give him the full bones because it's hard for him to digest sometimes. So I'll give him like a bone and the rest I'll just do just straight chicken. So with the rest of them at the end of the week, I'll go in and feed these guys all this nice juicy chicken. So I'll put it right over there. See if... A little bit in there. Oh, see, they're already going for it. And these guys, they'll just scale the bottom the whole time. So will Darth. So that'll work out really well. Let me see. Look at him. He's like a little puppy in there. All right, I'll keep this stuff for maybe a couple other things that I've got. Hi, buddy. Okay. Let's see. I've got one more piece of chicken. Back up, back up. Thank you. All right. Can you show me your teeth? There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Darthers. Good job, dude. That's all I got, though. So these uh, gators can go like a year without eating, and they're totally chill. They can self-regulate. But when they get it, they'll eat as much as they can. Yeah, you'll eat as much as you can, huh? That's what you're feeling right now. It's all, look at him. He's just using him. Let him go so we can go get some food. Back up, Darthers. Oh. Oh, sassy man. Little snoopy dude. There you go. <laughs> One more. There you go. Okay. Bye, dude. Nighty nights. Go get the rest.